I want to bring in also a member of President Trump's legal team. Jay Sekulow is joining us by phone tonight. Uh, Jay, um, you don't think that we're going to hear anything more uh, than we've already learned from the Mueller report. Do you think there will be any new ground uncovered here? Do you have any concerns? I mean, both the attorney general and the president have said they're OK with uh, Mueller going to testify. No, we have no concerns. I mean, Bob Mueller said that his report is his testimony. I expect his testimony is going to be his report. And you have to remember what the actual report said. So the basis upon which this entire investigation was commenced was concerns over uh, issues of Russia collusion or conspiracy with the, the Trump campaign. And what did Bob Mueller conclude? He concluded that there was none. Then you had these issues that came up after that, after the answer to the question was no collusion. They then bring this obstruction inquiry with a, a, a theory of obstruction that the Department of Justice not only rejects, but says that based on the evidence viewed from the position that Bob Mueller's team put it forward, the Department of Justice concluded there was no obstructive intent. But Bob Mueller's going to have to answer some questions. For instance, when you fired Peter Strzok, well, first of all, who fired Peter Strzok? Word is that Bob Mueller fired Peter Strzok, but then... Andrew McCabe said he actually fired Peter Strzok. So who fired Peter Strzok? How did you allow Peter Strzok's phone to be wiped clean after he was terminated from the investigation? How in the world, as the special counsel, did you allow evidence regarding bias to be removed from the phone and then that phone reassigned to someone else? Then you've got the whole issue of conflicts of interest. So the irregularities of the investigation are going to come forward here, I'm sure. People like the congressman are going to ask those. Those are legitimate questions. So Bob Mueller's going to have a lot to answer to. His report, report speaks for itself. The, you know, as I think Professor Dershowitz has already said many times, much better than I would be able to say it, and that is Bob Mueller's team conflated or reversed the burden of proof issue, this idea that, you know, if we were convinced the president didn't commit a crime, we would exonerate him. Well, prosecutors don't exonerate. And they made the statement in the report regarding obstruction that we're not saying the president committed a crime, but we're not exonerating either. Well, that's not even their role. So I, I think there's going to be a lot to answer to. We're not concerned about Bob Mueller testifying. I think he's going to stick to his report uh, and he'll have questions he's going to have to answer regarding this investigation. Jay, I want to read you something from the House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi. She says um, she's glad the American people are going to get to hear directly from Robert Mueller. She adds this, our national security is being threatened and the American people deserve answers. She makes reference, obviously, to wage, uh, Russia waging a sweeping and systemic attack on our elections. Um, what about that point she makes with regard to national security? You know, that, that, it's, I understand her point about national security, but what did Bob Mueller conclude in his report? There was no collusion or conspiracy between who? Between the Trump campaign and, and Russia. So that question's been answered. I mean, I guess they could ask it again, and he could say what he did uh, in his investigation. But this is, again, nothing new. So it's good that Bob Mueller's going to testify. He'll have a lot of explaining to do with the irregularities that took place during his uh, investigation, and, and he'll have to answer those. All right, Jay Sekulow, uh, part of the president's legal team. Thank you so much for calling in to Nate Gray Thanks, to Shannon. have you with us, Jay. Yep.